Hello, this is Back from Air Collector, and no, the title is not clickbait. Silver Tempest did have a restock in the European Union, and today we're going to talk about why it is important. Also, if you are American, especially if you are European like myself, and as always, here on the channel, we're going to take a look at some data, and uh, I'll have something spicy and interesting, at least in my opinion, for you. As you can see, we are here on TCG Player, we're going to take a look in car market and specifically we're going to take a look at some data that I extracted with my algo, which I, I have yet to officially announce on the channel, but it is coming. Let me know down in the comments if you are interested to know what is going to happen. And uh, here basically just an outlook. As you can see here, booster boxes are selling for right about what um, is MSRP. Now, if we go on to the lowest listed, as you can see here, they're selling for you could say 160, um, but uh, after all, if you factor in TCG player fees that are no are higher than car market, I believe they're 13% on sales against a 5% at with car market. So you come up with basically MSRP. And uh, cases, cases is pretty interesting. The chart as the at of uh, $757, whereas if you look at latest sales they're in the 900 and as you can see here the lowest leads are at uh, $1,000 so not sure what's going on there but uh, it, it looks like as you can see there's no many listings and it definitely looks like it is catching some interest ever since late February start of March so as we know already and again we'll take a look at some interesting data in just a moment on the European market we know that Silver Tempest is expected, everyone talked about it, and we'll briefly talk about qualitative and then we'll go into the quantitative side. Uh, Silver Tempest is expected to, to, you could say, to pump next, again, together with Battlestar. Now, I personally am more of a fan of Silver Tempest. I do see more potential Silver Tempest. Again, that is all qualitative talk, so it, in a way, as I like to say, this is all nonsense coming out of my mouth. Even though the coin argument, and that's, I mean, if you're new to the channel, this is what I like to do a lot. I like to think about pros and cons. I don't only see one way uh, to what I say. I don't only see, okay, I like Silver Tempest better than better style. So that's going to be it because that's not going to be it. People may not think this is the, the same way I do. So, but I think, it, and again, when I say I think, it means that I think. So it, I get in a way, you could say it's nonsense. Because what I like to say is the market doesn't get what you think. However, kind of argument. So kind of contradicting myself there, but that's what I like to do. I like to think, and uh, I like to have my viewers, you guys, think as well. And by the way, I haven't mentioned already, if you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description of this video, and it's completely free, and you'll be joining a growing community of Pokemon investors, Pokemon collectors, and cardboard lovers as a whole. So what I was saying is, the kind of argument is, well, I could be seen as the average collector. If you talk to a few people, many could agree that Silver Tempest, they see Silver Tempest better than Battle Styles. So, in a way, people view Silver Tempest as a better investment tool as Battle Styles. So, that could drive the price higher because demand is going to be higher towards Silver Tempest rather than. Battle style. So you can also make that argument. I, I mean, in a way it holds true. So you can also say that. Now, enough qualitative talks. And uh, as you can see here, you're looking at my spreadsheet. If you are not new to the channel, if you've been around for some time, you know that I do have a spreadsheet. And as you can see, I track down a lot of things. So every sheet that you see here is populated and it's getting populated by the day. So here I'll zoom in. So you hopefully can see better. So here, what do we have? We have the number of boxes, first symbol Tempest, available in the European market, car market. This is public data. And uh, as you can see, basically the restock hit right here, April 24th, April 25th. That is when uh, distributors shipped their orders out. And the following days were when stores could actually list their product, their boxes, their cases. We're gonna take a look in cases in just a second as well. Don't worry, we have everything here on the channel. So as you can see here, this is before the 
restock. Again, it's a restock. The European Union does not print Pokemon cards. We do have a Pokemon Center in Europe, in the UK. We do not have one in the European Union, but nevertheless, all Pokemon cards for the DCG are printed in the United States. So we need to import them. And uh, restock simply means that the Pokemon Company International, through distributors, move their inventory from most likely from the US into the European Union. Now, I'm not sure if they actually moved what they had in stock in the UK Pokemon Center and they could have moved some of that into the European Union. I don't know. I do know someone who has access to distributors, but they do not have that kind of data available. So as you can see here, that's before the restock. That's after the restock. So we see that's why the increased number of boxes. And uh, what I want to, to say is that it looks like we pull a top. It looks like we found a top and the boxes are starting to sell. So from this data, in uh, let's say a qualitative way, from, from what you see here, you could say, well, that's the number, the highest number of boxes we had in this period of time, which is roughly, what, 10 days, almost two weeks. And uh, from the top, you sold over, I mean, the market absorbed over 70 boxes. So it's highly possible that those boxes have been sold. So it kind of tells you that demand for silver, and that happened, as you can see, over a week, basically. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a week. So in a week, 70 boxes come from the market. That tells me demand is there. Now, again, that's kind of a qualitative deduction that I'm making based on quantitative data, so facts. I'm not talking blah, blah, blah. These are actual data. So that's kind of telling, it simply tells me there's demand. Now, you know, I I talk a lot, I know it, but as you can see, I put my mind where my mouth is. And as you can see, this is Timber Tempest. It's actually pretty minty. I got it off uh, TCG Market IT, which actually, if you want to purchase one of these, you can have 5% off. I don't get any money, it's not a sponsorship. I just told the guy, look, I have a YouTube channel. I wanna help you out. Can you give some discounts for viewers, for members, for subscribers? He said, okay, I can, best I can do, because prices are already pretty competitive, is 5% off cases. So that's it. And you'll find the link in the description. Oh, this is heavy. Um, I was saying, yeah, link in the description. And uh, if you if you have any questions, just if you don't trust the guy, just join the Discord and message me. I'll be happy to respond. So again, demand tells me there. Now, one thing I want to show you is, and that's pretty interesting, and then we'll end the video. Sorry. Sorry I talked too much. So let's scroll. Now let's find Silver Tempest cases. So Silver Tempest cases, um, as you can see, there's been pretty much around in the market. Again, if if it wasn't clear, all the data is English. It's all English boxes. And uh, spoiler for singles, English and near mint or better. Anyways, as you can see here, so we've had, uh, this is the number of boxes available right here, this column here, this, this. So it was pretty stable, as you can see, 31, 30, 33, 31, 30, 32, 35, 34, 36, 4, 5. So it's pretty stable, and uh, these are the listed prices. So they never drop below 759. For reference, with DCG market, you will be paying 730, I think, after discount, so below market price. It's a pretty good deal. Back, back when it first released, it was at below 700, euros for just 24 hours and it was i mean if you were in the discord you you would have known uh, that's why i always recommend to join anyways as you can see here cases are pretty stable but they're stable and uh but price haven't, hasn't really dropped and uh, if we take a look actually i almost forgot to say which is big big f for me but um if we zoom out and as you can see here this is april 22nd as you can see here, April 22nd. Now, the lowest price, lowest listed was 120 euros, and that's where we started to get more supply. So despite the fact their supplies increased, now I'm scrolling down, blah, 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 blah. As you can see here, prices are still at 120, and they did not drop lower. So this boxes are selling at above 120, so, 
despite the restock, sellers didn't need to lower the price. What does it tell me again? Demand. It tells me demand is there. That's what I can see. I look at supply, supply is diminishing, price is being stable. It sells at current market price. It, simple equation, simple as a model, demand is there. Now, one thing I want to show you is, and that's pretty interesting. So as you can see, the Silver Tempest cases were in the 30s here in the European Union. And if you take a look at lost origin, you can see they're in you know, low teens, 11, 12, 13. If you take a look at Fusion Strike, 10, 9, 8. Maybe I'll zoom in closer. Sorry about that. 8, 9. And uh, Chilling Rain again, 8, 9, so on and so forth. Now, so you may wonder, well, Barry, yes, they're older sets. They're out of print and uh, they're more expensive. So that's something you could say. But that would be a conclusion that you're making that it's not verified. It's not tested. You're assuming that. But can you say it's true? That's how I'm a mathematician, if you knew. That's why I talk too much. And probably I'm talking nonsense. I'm sorry. But uh, that's what I do. I need proofs. I need to be certain. So kind of argument for saying, well, these are older sets. There's less supply. That's why you see them in, you know, eight, nine, ten cases for per listing. You know, that's. So you're saying there's and they're more expensive. So people just that's not the case. Look at Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies today, this past three days, 17 cases for sale. Evolving Skies, US Sky 17 cases. The lowest was 3,800 euros. Whereas again, Fusion Strike, where you have eight listings today, the lowest is 1,500 euros. So over double price and there is more than double listing. So what does that tell me? Again, it's my suspicious. It's not proven. It's not. I didn't verify it. I didn't prove it. Again, I'm a mathematician. So I like proof myself that people are they either and that's possible. They don't have the boxes. I don't know. Or they just don't want to sell. If they do have them, they don't want to sell right now. They're waiting. So that's going to be it for me today. Hope I didn't bore you. If I didn't, please subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any update. And if you enjoyed the video, I would highly appreciate it if you could leave a like. It really helps. It goes a long way for the algorithm. I'll just see you in the Discord. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.